I'm an American citizen. My people have been here since the start of this country. I have Native American in me, I have Asian in me, I have European, and I have African. And I'm not going anywhere. Again, I say sanctuary cities are racist. All the jobs are going to illegals and to certain denominations. That is wrong. You're not going to be allowed to get away with it. Your time is going to be up. You want us to feel for your families, but you don't feel for our families. Again, the black community has literally been destroyed by racist, illegal immigration, and we're not going to have it. When my people do a crime, we get three strikes. Your people do a crime, they get amnesty, they get benefits, and they're not paying taxes. Thank God for Trump. Thank God for Senator. And the evidence that we gathered shows that unequivocally, the wage and employment levels of black Americans are disproportionately adversely affected by illegal immigration, particularly when it pertains to the effect on black males. And these two groups compete with one another in the low-skilled labor market. The competition is often most fierce in those industries in which blacks have traditionally and historically had high concentrations of employment, such as hospitality, service, construction, agriculture, and blacks very often lose out in this competition to illegal immigrants to, um, for a variety of reasons that are self-evident, certain employers prefer to hire illegal immigrants. And while jobs have been a scarcity among black Americans, prison cells have been exponentially abundant. International Business Times writes, black people only represent 13.3% of the U.S. population, while white people make up about 77%. But there are more black men in state prisons across the nation than there are white men. Overall, male prison population numbers have risen from an average of 200,000 in 1970 to an average exceeding 1.5 million since 2006. Of course, President Barack Obama left black America in shambles. America, black America in the aggregate is better off now than it was when I came into office. The National Review reported the unemployment rate for black teenagers ages 16 to 19 also declined over the same period from 35.3% to 23.3%, down 34%. The number of black food stamp participants exploded across that time frame from 7,393,000 to 11,699,000. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports up 58.2 percent. Mr. President, I need to find out from you, uh, you said something uh, as it relates to inner cities. That was one of your platforms during your campaign. Now Fix the inner cities. Yeah. Fixing the inner yep. cities. What will be that fix? So we have to help African-American people that, for the most part, are stuck there, Hispanic American people. We have Hispanic American people that are in the inner cities, and they're living in hell. I mean, you look at the numbers in Chicago. There are two Chicagos, as you know. There's one Chicago that's incredible, luxurious, and all, and safe. There's another Chicago that's worse than almost any of the places in the Middle East that we talk about and that you talk about every night on the newscasts. I would love to meet with the Black Caucus. I think it's great, the Congressional Black Caucus. I think it's great. Uh, I actually thought I had a meeting with Congressman Cummings, and he was all excited. And then he said, oh, I can't move. It might be bad for me politically. I can't have that meeting. But here we are now in President Trump's America, where our immigration laws are finally being duly enforced rallying the black American worker to the forefront. The U.S. has already begun gaining manufacturing jobs across the country. CNS reports the United States gained 5,000 jobs in manufacturing in January while losing 10,000 in government, according to numbers released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Nothing says united we stand, divided we fall like the sweat of American labor crushing the nearly victorious globalist attempt to destroy the American economy. John Bound for InfoWars.com.
In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime, where you can watch live high definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind the scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. Today, InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.